All praises to the Most High. So I'm going to prove what I said about the Muslims and the hypocrite fast through the scriptures. Uh, Matthew 6 and 16. Moreover, when you fast, be not as the hypocrites of a sad continence, for they disfigure their faces that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou fast, anoint thy head and wash thy face, that thou appear not unto men fast. So that means nobody's supposed to know you're fasting. But I'm going to get the scripture where you're nobody's supposed to know you're fasting. But unto thy father, which is in secret. Remember I said call him your father, ch father, child. And thy father, which sees in secret, shall reward thee openly. So your fast needs to be done in secret and God will reward thee openly. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth. Do they not fast for the whole heavens and earth to know? Where moth and dust does corrupt. Are they not rewarded because they're keeping all kinds of feasts of their fasting? And where thieves break in. Now another scripture. Matthew 6 and 3. But when thou does alms, when you're doing your prayers, when you're doing your fast to your God, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand does. I'm going to say that again. Let not thy left hand know what thy right hand does. And I'm going to go back. Be not as the hypocrites of a sad continence, for they disfigure their faces, that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto you, they, they have their reward. But thou... When thou fast, anoint thy head and wash thy face, that thou appear not unto men to fast. No man's supposed to know you're fasting. But unto the, fa unto the Father, which is in secret, and thy Father, which sees in secret, because God sees all things, shall reward thee openly. Okay? Now, repent.